Well, good evening, everyone. We've had quite the wonderful day today after the busy weather day that we had yesterday, and it's going to be busy tomorrow into the rest of the evening as well. So things look rather quiet as of right now, but don't let that fool you. We are still in that slight risk zone, mainly from midnight to about 7 a.m. So another overnight system is going to be moving in through our area. Um, we'll be watching it all very, very closely throughout the rest of the night, but it doesn't look like it will be too, too severe compared to what we have been seeing on the model trends. However, we are seeing it shift a little bit back and forth, so we're going to be watching it very, very closely, but you can see across much of eastern Mississippi and western Alabama, things are nice and quiet. So let's talk about when it's going to start heating up, and you can see that here on our future cast around that midnight to 1 a.m. time frame. You see some discreet cells starting to fire up along that I-20 corridor in our western Alabama counties. A stray one back here in Meridian along that I-20 corridor. It's going to be pushing off to the east, and it will be on out of our way by your early morning commute. So you're waking up 6 a.m., heading to church, heading to get, uh, start your day off. You're going to be seeing a little bit more cloud cover, some stray isolated showers early in the morning. That's at 6 a.m., but as we go on throughout the day, you'll see 2 p.m., things start to calm down a little bit. It's that eerie calm before the storm as we see some storms start to fire up, but it really starts to come together around that 5 to 8 p.m. time frame for us here in the eastern Mississippi counties. And you can see some of these cells have been following the model tendency and going along with more uh, streamlined winds. But the main threat is actually hail. We're uh, going to be seeing the hail damage of, uh, um, um, how do I describe it? It's more going to be towards hen, like hen-sized eggs. So that's probably the best way to describe the size of the hail that we're going to be seeing. Gopal, um, it's just going to be very large hail that we're going to be seeing across our area. And we're not really used to that here in Mississippi. So just make sure you have ways to stay updated. We also can't rule out the possible threat uh, for a tornado as well. So just make sure you have ways to stay updated as we go on throughout tomorrow afternoon. And then it will start pushing into our western Alabama counties around that 9 p.m. time frame. So as we head into starting into the overnight hours, you can still see these line of storms pushing through our area, more towards Choctaw County, Alabama, but as it swings through, it should start to calm down on that back end. We'll still have some stray showers, isolated thunderstorms on the back end onto Monday morning into Monday afternoon. It starts to calm down a little bit, but into Tuesday, we see another round of storms start to push into our area, none of which was seemed to be severe on Tuesday, but just some more back-to-back -back rain as well. So just make sure you have ways of staying updated because the rest of the night, we have been upgraded into that slight risk zone, so that means that we do need to be on alert just as we go on throughout the the night tonight because most of us are going to be in that slight risk zone but tomorrow is the day that everyone's watching it's su the for sunday we're in that enhanced risk zone so the enhanced risk means that we do have that chance for high winds hail being our main threats and it also can't rule out that possible threat of a tornado now today we did have the high of 88 which tied our record set back in 1907 and so it was a very hot day today. Luckily, it was very beautiful. If you did go out, it was a beautiful day today. Now, here's a look at your 10-day forecast at 10, sponsor, sponsored by Meridian Mutual. See, tomorrow we are under that first alert for some severe storms. High of 70 states, but severe threat is, uh, has all our eyes on that right now.